All right, got the uh, custom cruiser in here. Got okay, in my last video. I said I was going to install airbags. Look, box is empty. We're doing something. All right. So, get to crawl in here. We got this thing on jack stands. Here, get this light off. It's making glare. Anyway, we got an airbag in. You got the compressor back in. I have my push lock connector in. So, we're making progress. See how I routed these things? It was, uh, I routed the airline from the top. And to get the bag in, oh yeah, hold on, I'm scooting around underneath there. Put zip ties around the bag to make it small. So you can just take it, put it through the second and the first coil, goes in perfect. Well, yeah, first, you hook up your airline, and then you feed that little uh, washer through there. You squeeze it in there, you pull the airline taut, and look at that. It goes in nice and smooth, no tire spoons, none of that. That's a little wiggling with your hands, and it goes right in. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Kind of did a spray bomb, pre rend paint job. It's just going to flake off again. I need to get rid of the can. <laughs> Need some better paint. Anyway, we still got that side to do. And that compressor it does still work. I just uh, ran it and it uh, sounds mint because. Let me scoot it out of here. I hate working on this. We still have lifts to work on. Anyway, so they can sound better. Cause look at this old uh, airline feed hose. This thing is a shot, dry rod, and collapsed. So I'm thinking that compressor over there was almost suffocated. So that's why it sounded. So horrible when you turned it on. I thought the thing was just blowing up, but I think I'm good now. Thing sounds strong. Sounds like a brand new one, which is awesome. And this is the uh, old airline. I pulled that out of the whole car. It has little clips on the frame. I think I'm gonna uh, when I pull this out, I'll reuse those same clips. So the airline on top of the frame will stay nice and not burn on nothing. See how skinny this was for the air shock. And this is that stupid connector that was giving me a pain in the ass. Now I have this style connector on the uh, compressor dryer. So anyway, making progress. Oh yeah, what sucks about this car too is, uh, I can't even see it. I mean, the freaking transmission cross member. You see it right about there. The, um, the bracket blocks those rear, it makes, blocks the uh, rear bolts. On the training pants, when I do the filter on this thing, I gotta slide back this rusted piece of junk. Rusted piece of junk cross member. So, it's not gonna be fun, but it's doable. I think I have enough room to do it. It might hit the floor right there, but I think I can take it. And this really yank it back on this side, and I'll get my clearance. Hmm. <laughs> I know in the, um, when they redesigned these cars in 94 a little bit and put the LT1 in them. They uh, had different mounting holes for the uh, cross member. It's a little more straight. And uh, actually on that year car, you get the pan out, no problem. Two minutes, because nothing's blocked. So that's my pickup. Where's my pickup? Yeah, pick up. <laughs> Pickup's the same way, you gotta drop the cross member. So anyway, I gotta get back to work. Put that other bag in. See if this thing rocks. I might have to, uh, one more time when I need this car. <sighs> hate this. Why has my new arms? You see it in my other video, my Bilsteins. How rusted this thing is. Rusted! Oh, horrible. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, can't see it. <sighs> Alright, there's that, uh, sensor that, um, hooks up to. <coughs> I had rust in my face. Hooks up to the um, upper control arm. I might have to adjust that. It's a little turnbuckle right there. You see it. I might have to adjust that to keep a minimum amount of um, air pressure in the bags. The rust. No. At least this car is factory undercoated. No, not in factory undercoated. Dealer undercoated. They pretty much saved the floors. If um, this car was not undercoated, I bet. It would have had holes everywhere. So I get a hole in the quarter panel over there. I rig it up with screws and metal. 
for now, just so um, no water will get back there. Steal it off pretty good. That sucks. And my uh, wheel well. You can't see it over here too well. Yeah. A little bit, that pinch well up there. It gets shit in there and it just expands. That doesn't look too hard to fix though. Nah. At least this quarter is still solid. We get some water out of here. I don't know if it's just residual from the rainstorm this morning coming over the edge or I got a leak. So I have to investigate that. And it starts and stalls. Maybe this tank has to come down. I'm gonna do a fuel pump. Anyway, there's my tea. Enough talking. I wanna get this done today. Look at that. Spray bomb job. Ha, ha, ha.